Pastor Chooks, along with his wife, Pastor Toyin, are the lead pastors of Resurrection Life Church in Johannesburg, South Africa. Through them, God is raising an army of ordinary men and women who are transforming and uplifting the standard of life in their communities through understanding and applying biblical principles. Pastor Chooks and Pastor Toyin frequently host workshops, seminars and conferences for transformation and uplifting of the complete man, complete woman and wholesome families. Some of the events and programs include the Dream Achievers Seminars and Conferences, Kingdom Financiers Conferences, Marriage Enrichment Courses and Seminars, For Wives Only Seminars, Single Ladies Boot Camps, Limitless Men's Seminars. They are also the founders of the Power of Women Academy, a group mentorship for high-impact women. They also host the annual Power of Women Conferences and Events. For more information, please visit www.idelight.co.za and www.reslife.org.za or WhatsApp plus 27-814-210-835. Oh, welcome, welcome. It's another Thursday evening, and we are having the amazing Power of Women broadcast every Thursday. We come to you on Facebook and on YouTube just to share some things about the power a woman has. And this broadcast, as we always say, <laughs> is born out of this book, The Amazing Power of Women um, book that was written by Pastor Chuk Sobina Ugoihe. And my name is Toyin Ugoihe, and um, together we will be your host for today's um, program. We w I mean, our, this program is uh, talking about all things women, and it's usually from this book and um, further um, ex um, revelation from the Word of God that Pastor Chooks will be taking us through later in the program. I just want to thank you for joining us today. This is your first time. Thank you for coming on board. We are glad to have you. And if you have been here before, gladly help us. I mean, thank you for b coming on board also. Help us share this link. The Facebook link is on the screen. The YouTube is also, if you're watching from YouTube, please share the link with a friend. The Facebook, um, you can also get your friends and, and family to come around and join us for this today's broadcast. We're glad to have you. And we're going to have a beautiful one this evening. Just before we get into what Pastor Chicks will be teaching, talking about, it's continuing on the series. It started about two weeks ago. Very powerful series. And it's about pushing past obstacles and difficulties as a high-impact woman. We're going on part three today. He's been through it. Um, he's gone through some sessions um, two weeks ago. And last week and today is part three of this session. Pushing past obstacles and difficulties as a high-impact woman. As we all know, we are going through so much. There's so much happening in the world by reason of the pandemic and other issues. And we have to push past those things to still achieve all that God has for our lives. And so it's given nuggets, doing a teaching around it, and we will be getting into that shortly. But before we get into that, from um, two weeks ago, I started sharing nuggets from this book. And today, I just would love to share a bit more from this book. This book, everyone needs to get a copy of this book. Every woman, even the men need to get so they can understand the power that is resident that God has put inside the woman so that whatever woman is in their life, they can help that woman achieve all that God has called her to be. They can be the instrument, they can be the, the catalyst, they can even be the support to help her achieve all that God has called her to achieve. Amen. So I'm just going to read from this book and um, just some beautiful nuggets. It says, um, you need a thorough spiritual understanding of your makeup and design as a woman to, to determine the quality of your life and world. The quality of your life and your world. You need a spiritual understanding of your makeup as God has made us. In fact, it is by this understanding that you are able to regulate the quality of your life, marriage, family, and community at large. An understanding of the power that God has given to us helps us to, be, to appropriately regulate the quality of our lives. Amen. Say, so do not allow, I love this part. It says, do not allow your self-definition to be dictated and outlined by your heartbreaks your disappointments, personal insecurities, or positional frustrations and prejudices. Inside of you is a powerful woman. Inside of you is a powerful woman, ordained for greatness, glory, and celebration. 
There is a woman in you crying to be redefined in order for your life to be refined. That is why you must understand yourself beyond emotional frustrations, relationship situations, and public or societal and cultural opinions and definitions. It's a vital thing for every woman to be able to define herself outside of the things that affect us. There's so much cultur cultural, societal, public um, prejudices and opinions of what a woman should be. It's been pushed at us, it's been um, almost dictated to us. And we have to go beyond that, even beyond our frustrations, emotional issues, um, relationship situations. We have to go beyond that to actually get what is God's idea of you, what is God's definition of you as a woman, to harness that, to understand that, and to actually deploy that. And when you understand that, you will be able to affect the situations in, the, in our lives that create us, that drag us away from being the best that God has called us to be. And that is why we have the Power of Women broadcast. That is why this book has been written. You need to get a copy of yours. I mean, to get your own copy and buy for everyone around you, every female around you. They need to read this book so that you can understand. Get a glimpse of what it is that God has called us to, to be. And so that we are not defined alone or defined by the things that we've gone through or defined by what society says we are. We are beyond that. And you know, this past week, we were, I mean, it's been the celebration of the International Women's um, Day. Or I think it's even the whole month that the women have been celebrated. And I just want to encourage a woman out there. There is more to you than you've experienced. There's more to you than you have actually um, been able to, to understand. And this, as you go with us on this journey, join us every week on this broadcast. And we actually have all, all the previous broadcasts available on our YouTube channel. You can go there and just receive from it. We talk about everything woman, your spirit, your soul, and your body. We have your acts, your gyne sessions every, every last Thursday of the month. Next week, actually, we're going to be having our March acts, your gyne session. And these are things that just help us understand ourselves, our bodies better, understand the things that go on in our bodies, understand the things that go up in terms of our mind, our emotions, and also the spiritual part of our lives. And we're going to be going into that a bit more later on when Pastor Chooks comes on and teaches on how to even push past um, difficulties and challenges that we go through. And today I believe we're going to have a really, really beautiful time. Once again, share this broadcast with a friend, with a girlfriend out there. And if you're a man watching us, please kindly invite your friends, your, 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 your girlfriends, as, and your, 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 your wife, um, your sister, your mother, every woman around you. Help them understand who they are. Because when they understand who they are, it's actually for your own good. Because they will flourish. They will be all that God has called them to be. And that will impact you posi positively. Thank you so much. After this, um, we're going to go into an ad break. And after that, we're going to have Pastor Chicks come up. And he's going to be teaching around pushing past. Part three, pushing past obstacles and difficulties as a high-impact woman. Thank you. God bless you. Have a beautiful one with us this evening. God bless you. The Power of Women Academy is a group mentoring program for high impact women. Women who want to change their lives and their worlds and move on to the next level. Power of Women Academy is aimed and tailored at unleashing the passion and greatness locked inside you as a woman as you walk the journey of life over the mentorship period with our team of distinguished and well accomplished mentors from all walks of life. Our mentors are indeed destiny helpers. These mentors come to inspire you. They come to encourage you, to challenge you, to teach you, to stretch you and to empower you. They are committed to helping you fulfill your highest potential and help you birth your wildest dreams that have been placed in you by God. For more information about the Power of Women Academy, please visit www.powacademy.co.za or for inquiries, call 064-200. One, five, four. Good evening, good evening. Uh, uh, this is Chooks Ugoi here. Another edition of the <laughs> Power Woman broadcast. I welcome you all in Jesus' name. Uh, we are uh, hanging around uh, the revelation that God gave us that we documented in this book, The Amazing Power of Women. I wrote this book about five years ago. 
um, and, and quite a bit of good stuff is in this book. I, I encourage every woman out there to grab a copy of this book and read it. This broadcast is based on the, on the um, revelation and the philosophy around this book. And, and what, 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 what it says is that woman is very powerful. There is power resident in woman. And every woman needs to understand that power and use that power wisely. And use that power wi wisely. When that power is not um, utilized well, uh, the enemy uh, triumphs. The devil does terrible things. And, but when a woman knows how to use her power well, she can accomplish great and mighty things. Now, we, are, we have entered the post-COVID world. Uh, our world changed about this time last year especially those of us in South Africa, you know, this was about, you know, the time that the national uh, state of disaster was announced and implemented and the, and the hard lockdown went in on the 27th of March, 2020. And we've been in the lockdown till now. Uh, yes, it's been lifted up, you know, back and forth, back and forth as they watch the behavior of the virus. But it has changed the world. It has really changed the world. It has uh, shrank economies and um, it's you know people have lost jobs businesses have not been doing well but this is what I came to say today there is a, a, a taking off that is going to happen as the virus comes down vi the vaccine is out thank God you know I mean this is the fastest rollout of vaccine globally that you know uh, I mean this was a brand new virus that was identified on the 31st of December 2019. And, you know, within a year, a vaccine, you know, several vaccines actually had, had been manufactured and they are testing them. Some of them, we are hearing horrible things. Some of them, uh, we are, you know, the, the testimonies are not as bad. But this is what I'm saying. And please, I want you to hear. As the vaccine, you know, begins to, to go around, uh, there is a possibility, in fact, the possibility is very strong, that things will pick up again. <laughs> they, they, things will pick up again. It will not be dark the whole time. No, things will pick up. The sun will shine again. The sun will shine again. And what I'm, I'm about to share today, it's a continuation of the thought that I've been sharing the last two weeks, um, how to overcome obstacles as a high-impact woman. How to overcome obstacles as a pie and today will be the last installment on that on that uh, contemplation and that mini series how to overcome obstacles and difficulties as a high impact man. i want to prepare you because things are going to take off when things take off will you be ready will you be ready so whatever it is you are dealing with right now please hear what i'm about to say whatever it is that you're dealing with whatever difficulties whatever challenges that you're dealing with right now is is preparing you for takeoff. Is preparing you for takeoff so that when takeoff is happening, you are ready and you can you can ride the tide. You can jump on the tide and fly with it. Women of God, listen. This is the time to put your dream in the ground. This is the time to prepare. This is time to sow the seed. This is the time to you know um, 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 unleash. Uh, new new skills, learn new skills, acquire new because there is a takeoff time. It's a difficult time we are in now, and what you need to do in this season is to press in and press through the difficult season because there is a takeoff coming. And when takeoff coming, those who have paid attention, those who have prepared themselves, those who have uh, 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 done their homework well, they are the ones who will benefit from. The, 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 the takeoff wind. There's a takeoff wind that's going to blow. So, so I want to share with you a few things that you need to know that's going to help you prepare yourself for takeoff because takeoff is inevitable. Takeoff, takeoff is inevitable. All right. Let me, let me uh, start from somewhere. I, I want you to get ready. I, I know God is going to bless you with, 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 with fresh, 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 uh, um, revelation, fresh dew from heaven. This, this thing I'm about to serve today, it's, it's hot cake. It's, it's hot bread baked right, right in the presence of God. And it's going to feed you and sustain you. 
you know, we are in that time uh, that, that can be likened to the time when the prophet, the, the angel said to the prophet, eat for the journey ahead of you is far. Eat. When he finished eating, the angel made more food for him and said, eat some more. The journey ahead of you is very far. And I'm going to say to you, woman of God, eat. And imbibe these principles. Allow them to digest because you're going to need them. You're going to need them. And, and, and I'm talking to high-impact women. I'm talking to women who carry dreams. I'm talking to women who feel like they, have, they are carrying something to birth in this generation to transform a whole generation. If you are not feeling what, what I just said now, this message is not for you. But anybody who feels that I carry greatness, I carry a contribution, I carry something that I'm supposed to birth to transform a generation, to make huge impact, this is for you. This is directly for you. So you need to pay attention. You need to grab a pen, grab your, your, your writing material, and listen to what the Spirit of God is saying. What I'm sharing now, you will need it. So you need to absorb it, digest it, absorb it. Let it you know, assimilate into your system because you're going to need that wisdom as we emerge from the, from the uh, downturn, from the darkness of the pandemic. We're going to emerge. So I want you to pay attention. So we, we start in now. I have a couple of scriptures that I, I want to uh, share with you to help uh, communicate what I feel in my spirit uh, for this season. All right. Uh, R Romans chapter 8 verse 17. The Bible says, And if children, then heirs, heirs of God. You are an heir of God. <laughs> an heir is a child who is born into a family who is entitled to some inheritance. It can be a throne, it can be money, it can be assets, it can be, you know, sentimental goods, whatever. An heir has something waiting for him. That's what an heir is. There's something that is waiting for him based on who, who, where he was born into. So something is waiting for him. So Bible says we are heirs of God. Mm. We are heirs of God. An heir is somebody who has something waiting for him in the future based on where he was born. So, you are born of God. There is something in the future that is waiting for you. There is a program of God uh, for, for, that has your name as a critical player. <laughs> as a critical player. You are a critical player in that agenda. So, the Bible says you are an heir of God and then joint heir with Christ. Joint heir with Christ. So what we are doing, we are joining to, together with Jesus to birth it. So, so there's something waiting for you in the future. And that's what I want to prepare you. There is glory. Hallelujah. There is glo there's a divine agenda about your life. There is divine power and purpose about your life. And I want you to get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. He says, if indeed we suffer with him, that we may also be glorified together. We are in a season where we are being squeezed and, and all kinds of things are putting pressure. Pressure, pressure, pressure. Uh, finances have not been the way they have always been because of the pandemic. It created pressure. And, and the Bible says, if you are going through this pressure, uh, there is hope around this pressure. And I want to remind you, so that you don't lose your song in the night, so that you don't, you don't allow the darkness of the season, the hardship of the season. We are talking about pushing past difficulties, pushing past obstacles to accomplish your dreams as a high-impact woman. So, so there's a tendency to allow the discomfort and the pressure of the moment to drown your dream. Please hear what I'm saying. If you are facing pressure, you are facing all manner of pressure on your mind, on your emotions, on your health, on your body. Please understand that this pressure is for one reason. The enemy is throwing this pressure because of what the enemy knows that God wants to birth through you. Remember, an heir is somebody who has something huge in the future uh, that, that they are supposed to un, 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 uh, possess or unravel or unpack. Or, or disclose or manifest all right so you're an heir of god there's the agenda of the father something the father has inside of him and you are born to inherit it you are born to access it you are born to manifest it you are, it's
just your dream. Listen, what you feel, you think it's your dream. It's not just your dream. It's the dream of God. It's the dream of God. But you are the physical vessel for the betting of that dream. But it's the dream of God. That's why the Bible says you are an heir of God. Because God wants you to but something. God wants you to unpack something. God wants to bring something into the earth. I, I said it in this book. You are a woman, meaning that you are a man with a womb. There is a womb that God has given to you in the physical, but beyond the physical, in the spirit, spirit dimension, you carry a womb. And that womb is for the purpose of birthing something. The, so there's something what God wants you to birth, a business, a movement, something huge, something that is supposed to impact the world. Every woman, you have been given a womb to birth the agenda of God. So this dream is not your dream. It's the dream of God, but you are God's vessel in the earth that he's using to birth the dream in the earth. So when the Bible says you are co-heir, co-heir, co-heir with Christ. So you are going through the pregnancy, but it's with Christ. Alekatosha. Christ is pregnant as you are pregnant. And he wants, since the world cannot see Christ, you are the one that the world sees. So this pregnancy is going to be birthed through you. So is is divine pregnancy. Hallelujah. But you are the vessel in the physical realm that people are seeing. To, so you are not going to allow the pressure to cause you to snap. The pressure to cause you to give up. The pressure to cause you to, to, to uh, 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 squash you. No, 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 no. No. You are carrying something for God. Don't, don't take yourself lightly. You are carrying something for God. God needs you to be able to birth this thing. Wow, Rapatosha. God needs you. Oh, this place is hot. God needs you to help, help birth this thing. And you, you, will, you will birth it. The pressure will not crush you. The pressure will not crush you. As a heir, an heir of God, God is counting on you to birth this huge thing. That he has in his heart. And, and let me paint a picture for you. In this season we are in, women are needed for reconstructing global economies, reconstructing global communities. Women are needed. What the enemy has thrown on the planet with the coronavirus, God is going to use women to fix it. And it's going to come as in this season, women are getting pregnant. This is a season of intimacy with the Holy Spirit so that that pregnancy can transfer from the Holy Spirit to you. <laughs> That's why the Bible says you are a co-heir with Christ. So it transfers to you and you carry this thing in the womb of your spirit and you cannot birth it. You're going to birth that business. God is going to raise women who are going to be kingdom financiers, make gas kingdom financiers. God is going to raise women who are going to become political leaders, business leaders. Uh, uh, community leaders, people who are going to do great things. The economy is going to be reshaped. Hallelujah. Okay, you, you know, it's not a coincidence. Listen, it's not a coincidence that for the first time in the history of the world, the, 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 the leader of the World Trade Organization is a woman and is a black woman. It's not a coincidence. Many women are going to be finding themselves in such global positions, such powerful positions. Ah, you need to hear what I'm saying. Women, God, listen, listen. God is going to be putting women in great international positions, national positions. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Because all the training you have been going through, all the preparation you've been going through for the last 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, was preparing you for such a time as this. Because God needs you as a critical player. For the success of divine agenda, you are a critical player. You are a number 10 on the team. And, and God needs you. Hallelujah. God needs you. That's why you got to manage that pressure. Don't let that pressure cross you. Don't let that pressure cross your spirit. No, 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 no. Don't let that pressure debilitate you. Yeah? Can I tell you something? The Holy Spirit is here to comfort you. The Holy Spirit is here to strengthen you. That's who he is. He's the strengthener. Eh? He is the strengthener. He's the giver of strength. He's the giver of support. He's here to on, underguard you and carry you and carry you. So you may be going through excruciating 
amount of pressure at home in your marriage in, in 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 at work i don't know what your specific circumstance is but if you're a woman of destiny you are undergoing pressure right now and you need to know how to contain that pressure and allow the power of god to come in the bible says when you are weak his strength is made manifest for you you are strong when you are weak so this is your season so the bible says there for I consider that the sufferings of this present time, I'm reading that verse 18 in Romans chapter 8, are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Whatever it is you're going through right now, it, 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 it's, you are, it's not worthy to be compared with what God is going to do to you. Woman of God, you are going to come out of this. I say you are going to come through this. Be encouraged. That's my mission today. To encourage you to infuse strength in your spirit. To help you carry through your pregnancy and birth your baby. You're going to birth your baby because that baby is going to change the world. Ah, That baby is going to change the 21st century. That baby, you are carrying something significant. I, I'm, I want to let you know, you are carrying something significant the pressures you are facing right now the struggles you are going through right now are nothing compared with what is about to be birthed through you so hang in there the god is god is is the one he is co-laboring with you remember you are co here so so the spirit of god is really here to help you he's here and all you need to do is reach out to him and say, Father, help me. <laughs> Spirit of God, my strengthener, my, my, my supporter, my, my, help me, assist me. And, and reach out to him because his hands is stretched out. Listen, in this season, his hand is stretched out to help you. So reach out. When you feel you can't take it anymore and you can't burst this thing anymore, reach out to him and, 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 and receive strength and receive help. He is available to help you. Why? He needs you. You are a co-heir with him. He needs you. He can't do it alone. He needs you. So, so I want you in this time, whatever you're going through, to birth your dream is working, is working the birth of glory in you. <laughs> so the difficulty you're going through right now is nothing but a season of preparation. It's a season of equipping. Yes. You know how when you get pregnant, with your day and the first trimester for a lot of women is really you know tough there's a lot of vomiting there's a lot of you know nausea there's a lot of moods a lot of things and it's your body adjusting and preparing for the baby it's your body adjusting for the baby the same thing that you're going through now it's your body and your spirit and your soul adjusting for what you're going to birth so, so you need to remain positive. Something big is coming out from this. So, because negativity in your mind will poison this pregnancy, will poison this baby on your inside. So, so you're not going to become bitter or become despondent or become helpless. No, you are going to remain positive. Know that glory is being birthed out of you. Glory. <laughs> Powerful manifestation of the goodness of God is coming out through you. Mm -hmm. James chapter 1 verse 12. James chapter 1 verse 12. Blessed is the man who endures temptation. Blessed is the woman who endures pressure. For when he has been approved, for when he has been approved, he will receive the crown of life which the Lord has promised to those who love him. There is a crown. What's a crown? Crown speaks of royalty. Crown speaks of reigning. Only, only kings and queens wear a crown. So it speaks of authority that is coming. It speaks of an endowment of, of authority that is coming upon you. So there's a crown of life, meaning there is, there is reigning that is about to happen. You are, you're being crowned with it. <laughs> There's a crown coming on your head for reigning. You are going to reign. You are going to reign. It's a crown of life. But the Bible says you will receive this crown when you are approved. Meaning what you're going through right now is a test. The, the difficulties and the challenges and the pressure right now is nothing but a test. Pass your test. 
Woman of God, pass your test. Tell yourself, I have passed this test. I have passed this test. You, have, you will pass this test and you will soar. You will soar. You will, you will be approved. The opposite of being approved is disapproved. <laughs> That's the opposite. You are, you know, if you fail the test, you'll be disapproved. That anointing will not rest. That favor will not crown. But that devil is a liar. Somebody say to yourself, I will pass my test. I will endure. I will push through the difficulties. I will push through the obstacles. And I will pass my test. Your husband may not be cooperative. Your children. There is a crown that is waiting for you. You need to pass the test. You need to pass that test. So, so the, the purpose of this pressure, let me explain it to you. The purpose of this pressure is to force you to bunk the test. And when you bunk the test, you do not get the crown of life. That crown is what puts favor and spiritual authority, confers spiritual authority on you to command and to control influence and control things in the affairs of men. But there's a test to pass. That's why he says, if you are approved. I, I, I prophesy to you today that you will be approved. You will pass your test. See, you will pass that test and that crown will come on your head. You will push past your current challenges, the current obstacles, the current difficulties, and you will get that crown. The crown of life, the Bible calls it. It says, you will receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to those who love him which the Lord has promised to those who love him. Remember, we started by saying we are heirs of God because he loves us. We are heirs of God. So there's a promise of a crown. Ah, there's a promise of rulership. There's a promise of reigning. There's a promise of being in charge. What we're saying in this broadcast tonight is that women are going to be put in charge. There are crowns coming. Crowns coming. Crowns hanging. And, and these crowns, it's, they are crowns for queens, not crowns for kings. They are crowns for queens hanging in the spirit, waiting for women who will be approved and this crown will rest. I, 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 want, you, I want you to determine within yourself, I will get one of those crowns. For this 21st century, I am one of God's, God's uh, 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 critical players. I am one of God's uh, uh, um, arsenal. That's what I'm looking for. I am one of God's battle access. God is going to use me. So that crown is going to come on my head. So that's why you got to pass your test. You are facing lions and bears right now because there are big goliaths. There are giants coming. Because that position that you want to sit on will require you to be able to uh, uh, control your emotions, for instance. Because how, how, is, how, is, how, how is God going to trust you with territories to control territories when you cannot control your emotion when you you know you you break out you lose it no territories are coming because it's a crown crown is for rulership territories are coming god wants to put territories under your control woman of god but you got to pass your test in other words don't let the pressure cause you to fall into pieces don't let the pressure cause you to lose control and your mouth is blabbering and you know you are scattered no no you are being prepared for rulership. So whenever you feel that pressure, and that pressure feels like it's going to explode you, no, say no, say no. Control yourself that you may be approved so that the crown will come on your head. Uh, I, I can't say this enough. You will, you will push past every obstacle, every pressure. Can I tell you something? Let me say it in another way. What you are facing right now is nothing but training for what you're going to face tomorrow. Because the higher you go, the more you have to deal with. So if you don't know how to manage yourself now and you fall into pieces because of the lion, because of the bear, because of the small challenges you're facing now, how are you going to be trusted with nations? How are you going to be trusted with portfolios, big financial portfolios to control, big budgets to manage with so many people under you? If you fall apart with small things, how are you going to be able to manage big things? When there's pressure, you know, from, from demonic forces, pressure from political forces, pressure from uh, corporate forces, all kinds of pressure. That's why you want to learn these things now. I said, 
prepare yourself. Prepare yourself. This thing is about to take off. Prepare yourself. This, the pressures you are facing right now are nothing but preparation. So allow the cooking to mature. Allow the cooking to be done so that you are ready to take on what God wants to give to you. A crown of life is coming. There's a crown of life coming on your head. Woman of God, there are many of those crowns. And I, I prophesy today, you will be one of those people that are approved to take on the crown. You will shine, you will, you will do well, and God will be proud of you. Your generation will be proud of you. Your children will be proud of you. Your husband will be proud of you. Everything will be proud of you. Everybody around you will be proud of you because you've passed your test and the crown of life has settled on your head. I, 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 I have to stop here tonight. God bless you. Thank you for, for being part of this broadcast. My wife and I are praying for you. We are looking forward to hearing the testimonies of God's promotion in your life. You know, as she, as she alluded in the beginning, God is going to use you. God is going to use you and you must prepare. So, so I, I want you to, even as things begin to unfold in your sphere of influence, our number is on the screen. Yeah, that number there. You know, contact us and, and um, uh, send a WhatsApp, plus 27814210835. Share with us your journey. Uh, perhaps there's a way we can help you. Remember, we, we run that you know, um, um, uh, uh, mentorship program for high-impact women, POA. Consider enrolling for, for, for uh, POA this year. Consider being a part of the mentorship program. You know, the advert ha is coming up again. Consider being a part of it because you, what God has put inside of you needs to be nurtured. We want to prepare you for leadership. We want to prepare you for rulership. We want to prepare you for taking over. We want to prepare you for God to trust stuff in your hands. And, and that's why we're here. That's our ministry. That's why we're here, to work hand in hand with you. So feel free to contact us on that number, plus 27814210835. My wife and I are waiting to hear from you. We want to work with you and help you get to where God wants you to get to. God bless you. Good night. Next week. Uh, next week, Thursday, 7 p.m. South African time, another edition of Amazing Power of Women, and we will be having another another uh, installment of Ask Your Gynae. Our uh, One of our gynecologists will be on next week, and I think we're going to be dealing with fibroids. So I just want to prepare you. You're going to you know, get the science of fibroids and the spirituality of fibroids and what you need to know about that malady that troubles a lot of women and all the options available for treatment spiritual and medical all right so we're going to be talking about fibroids next week and i look forward to share this broadcast tell somebody about what god is doing to empower women for what is ahead this is this is the channel to stay tuned to get a prophetic a, you know direction for what god is saying to women to get you know medical information to get social relationship with all kinds of information helping you to maximize the power that god has put inside of you my name is chuck sugo here on behalf of myself and my dear wife we say stay empowered stay blessed and we look forward to seeing you next thursday good night god bless you The Power of Women Academy is a group mentoring program for high-impact women. Women who want to change their lives and their worlds and move on to the next level. Power of Women Academy is aimed and tailored at unleashing the passion and greatness locked inside you as a woman as you walk the journey of life over the mentorship period with our team of distinguished and well-accomplished mentors from all walks of life. Our mentors are indeed destiny helpers. These mentors come to inspire you they come to encourage you, to challenge you, to teach you, to stretch you, and to empower you. They are committed to helping you fulfill your highest potential and help you birth your wildest dreams that have been placed in you by God. For more information about the Power of Women Academy, please visit www.powacademy.co.za or for inquiries, call 064 200